After 30 years of digging in the dirt, I've concluded that the most exciting and most gratifying way to garden is in containers. After all, you can grow practically anything in containers, from fresh herbs and vegetables to annuals and perennials, even trees and shrubs. And you can garden in containers practically anywhere. Pennington, one of the biggest names in quality grass seed, is also big on containers. In fact, chances are you've seen Pennington pots at box stores, at your favorite nursery, or on my television show. And the assortment of sizes, styles, and colors Pennington offers is staggering. Sure, they've got the classic terracotta pots in a number of sizes, which are hard to beat, but they also offer all sorts of decorative pots as well, both glazed and unglazed. By far and away, the most important thing to keep in mind when growing in containers is drainage. Make sure the pot you choose has at least one drain hole and use a good quality potting mix that drains well. Beyond that, it's simply a matter of combining the right plant with the right pot. And the possibilities are endless. The vast majority of plants can be grown in 8 to 12 inch diameter pots, including herbs, annuals, and perennials. I'm crazy about conifers, and I grow a number of them in small pots. Of course, plants that have the potential to grow quite large will need a larger pot to call home. But that's no problem, because Pennington's got big pots too. Some folks, my wife included, like to mix a whole bunch of different plants in one pot, and that's fine. But bear in mind that the water requirements, the growth rates, and the amount of sun and shade those plants prefer may vary considerably. So choose plants with similar needs, or stick with one plant per pot, which is what I do. I heard that. When displaying pots, I try to group them together in various places, whether on the patio, near seating areas, or in garden beds, where both the plants and the pots add texture and color. Container plants may need to be watered as often as every day, especially during the summer months, although glazed pots don't lose moisture quite as rapidly as unglazed ones. And because nutrients are flushed out of the potting mix each time you water, you may have to fertilize every week to 10 days. With nearly two acres on which to garden, I still grow all kinds of plants in containers. In fact, at this very moment, I've got over 150 containers filled with all kinds of cool stuff. Hey, it's like I said earlier, I love growing things in containers. Or said another way, I just can't contain myself.